Okay, so now that we have everything set up, let's use request to fetch the uh, weather data into our Python app and print it out. So the request website shows you exactly how to use it. So we're going to take this line of code here, we're going to copy it, we're going to paste it in. Now, some APIs require authorization, but Weather Underground does not. So we don't need that. Uh, it authorizes you with your API key in the middle of the URL. So as long as you have that, you're good to go. So we're going to copy from Weather Underground the current conditions uh, example link. And we're going to paste it in here between these little single quotes. And then uh, once we run this application or this script, it's going to connect. That's all this does. It connects to Weather Underground and it saves all of this data into a, a variable called R. Okay, so it goes out, it gets the information, it puts it in uh, this variable called R. And then, according to the documentation, if we just print out R.JSON, we will get the, this, the JSON response, which is all this, to pop up on our screen. So let's print r.json and we're gonna hit run and click run and just run with the temp setting and you'll notice instantly we have all of that information in Python that's a lot and it looks confusing the way it's organized but we can go through this and pick out the pieces that we want so what we've done is we've got our weather underground API key we've used this endpoint to fetch data We've saved this data into a variable called R, and we print the JSON, which is this, to the screen here. So you've successfully connected to your first API, and that's a huge step. So at this point, all we have to do is add a little bit of extra steps in Python to maybe uh, get different dates and maybe we don't need all this information all we want is say the temperature or the high temperature or whatever it is so we can tell python to get just what we need and then export that to a file that excel can open